What is up, friends? Today, we're going to be talking about Hogwarts Legacy and all of the things that you can do to make sure that you get all that sweet, sweet bonus content. Welcome, everybody, to the Lumberzack Gaming Channel, your place for friendly, quality gaming content. Because, yes, today, we're going to be talking about things that you can do right now for free to get more content when you buy Hogwarts Legacy. Yes, right now, there are things that you can do to receive free content when the game comes out. And we're going to be clearing up a little bit of a misconception Conception about the certain additions that are coming out so make sure to stick around for that because there is a lot of confusion in the comments from videos that I've done or videos that I've seen other people do so we're gonna clear some of the air with that but we want to make sure that you get the most bang for your buck that you get all that good content that you're looking for with Hogwarts Legacy. So let's not waste any more time and dive right on into it. One of the most important things that you can do right now to get some free content for Hogwarts Legacy is to make sure that you have a WB Games account and a Harry Potter fan club account. Eventually, you're gonna link those, but on the Harry Potter fan club account, you can go on there, you can take your house test, you can get your wand on there, you can get your Patronus, and all of those things except the Patronus will be able to transfer over from your fan club account to your Hogwarts Legacy character. But it is more than just that because if you go ahead and you link those accounts, you will also receive a beaked skull mask, which is the same mask for every single person, no matter what house you're in, and you will get house fanatic robes. Now it is important to know that your house fanatic robes are going to be respective to whatever house you actually choose to play in Hogwarts Legacy. Also, if you're sorted into Gryffindor on your fan club account, but you wanna play as a Slytherin, you have the ability to change that in Hogwarts Legacy. You are not bound by that if you connect your account. Now, when it comes to actually receiving those items when you get to the game, the development team has said you'll find your beaked skull mask and a house fanatic robe in your inventory on your first day at Hogwarts. Just after completing the introduction sequence of Hogwarts Legacy, where you receive your field guide and access to the gear screen. Now, it is important to know that if you play the game and you start as Slytherin, you will receive a Slytherin house fanatic robe. Now, on that same character, you will not receive a Hufflepuff fanatic robe. You can only wear the house robe that you yourself are actually in on that save file. However, it is important to know if you didn't know this already, there are confirmed to be four save files for each game, so you will be able to go through as every single house, and when you start up your save file, your respective house fanatic robe will be available to you just after that introduction sequence of Hogwarts Legacy. It would be absolutely crazy for me to think that most people do not already know which house they are choosing in Hogwarts Legacy. And for me, part of that decision just comes down to, I mean, the common rooms for these areas are so distinctly different from each other. They're so freaking cool. You've got the Slytherin house, which the door alone is just one of the coolest things that I've seen from this game so far. But the common room is actually underwater. That's why you kind of see the blue tint coming in through the windows in this scene here, which is just awesome. Those of you guys who are are going into Ravenclaw, you can see, I mean, just like books galore. No surprise there if you know anything about Ravenclaw's. But you're going to see just a ton of books all spread out. This definitely feels more like a, you know, library study area. Not necessarily my cup of tea, but I understand that it is some people's. The Gryffindor common room is probably the one that people are most familiar with definitely throughout the movies and just descriptions in the books as well. It's got that nice cozy feeling to it. The central fireplace, the red color scheme. So if you're into that. And also one of my favorite common rooms, surprisingly, even though I'm not a Hufflepuff, is the Hufflepuff common room. These very low ceilings, there's a lot of plant life in there. It kind of has that, like, you know, you're a badger type feeling to it. I, I think all of these common rooms just look incredible, and you'll be able to sport your brand new house fanatic robes in them. And when I talked about getting all the possible content that you want and to make sure that you have, I do want to break down a little bit the different editions of Hogwarts Legacy that you can receive because there's a little bit of confusion here and there's, uh, there's a lot to offer but only to certain people at certain aspects. Now, if you are looking to just the standard edition of this game, then obviously buying is going to give you the base game. If you pre-order this, you will also receive an Onyx Hippogriff. Now, this is where some of the exclusive content comes in because if you pre-order the standard edition of Hogwarts Legacy on PlayStation, you will also receive a Felix Felicis potion recipe and a Haunted Hogsmaid shop quest. Now, the Haunted Hogsmaid shop quest is not a pre-order exclusive 
but it is a PlayStation exclusive. The Felix Felicis Potion recipe is for the Felix Felicis Potion. It is a luck potion that reveals gear chests on the minimap for one in-game day, giving you a pretty lucky day on your journey as you explore Hogwarts and the surrounding areas. Now, when it comes to the haunted Hogsmeade shop quest, this is one of the biggest things that people are upset about if you're not on PlayStation. Unfortunately, this is a PlayStation exclusive for the first year of release of this game. And along with a haunted Hogsmeade shop quest, the shop will also be available. And the description says that you can sell items and gear at better rates than at anywhere else. And that does come with the standard edition for PlayStation users. Now, when it comes to the deluxe edition, you'll get the base game. If you pre-order, you'll also get the Onyx Hippogriff. You'll also receive 72 hours early access to this game. PlayStation users will still get the Felix Felicia's Potion recipe and the Haunted Hogsmaid Shop Quest. And the big things that come with the Deluxe Edition is that if you order the Digital Deluxe Edition, specifically the Digital Deluxe Edition, you will get this Dark Arts Garrison hat. But also with the Deluxe Edition of Hogwarts Legacy, you will receive the Dark Arts pack that comes with the Thestral Mount, the Dark Arts Cosmetic Set, and the Dark Arts Battle Arena. Now this is where I want to specify some things because a lot of people are really confused about it in the comments, so I want to clear it out in the air for everybody. Every single person that gets this game will have access to the dark arts period doesn't matter what version of the game you have doesn't matter whether you pre-order it standard edition deluxe edition every single person is going to be able to use the dark arts however the dark arts pack specifically comes with the thestral mount it has been confirmed that there are thestrals in the game but the only way to have one as a mount is if you own the deluxe edition of hogwarts legacy for some reason there seems to be a ton of confusion that a lot of people believe that you don't actually have access to the dark arts unless you buy the dark arts pack i kind of get it with the way that they named the pack specifically specifically, but I just want to clear it up there for you. You can still be a dark witch or wizard and use the dark arts, even if you don't have the dark arts pack. However, the dark arts pack will be available after the launch date. If you just bought the standard edition and you decide that you still want the dark arts pack, that will be available for you as downloadable content. Just a quick one today, guys, to make sure that you are all set for Hogwarts Legacy. Here at the Lumbers That Gaming channel, we are all about building a community of gamers that want to game together, that want to support each other, that want to encourage each other. If that sounds like something you want to be a part of, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I put together a video not too long ago about the 18 facts that you need to know about Hogwarts Legacy. Go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you over there.